I get a lot of questions about, you know, why relationships aren't working. What is wrong with him? Why won't he show up in this way? Why won't she show up in that way? Why won't they do this and that? Are they emotionally unavailable? Uh, are they a narcissist? X, Y, and Z. I, I often hear these questions and almost always it is directed outwardly, right? It is obviously the other person who's the problem. This, this is not one of those videos. So if you are looking for somebody to just affirm you in what you're in right now, again, you're going to be wasting your time watching this. This is going to be a real life video where I'm saying real life things. And they may trigger, they may offend, but what they're going to do is set you free and get you to where you want to be. So that being said, let's get right to it. Your pride will keep you miserable. It will keep you single. It will keep you broke. It will keep you in a lot of places that you do not want to be. Your pride. Your pride will do so. Now, pride is nothing more than fear in disguise. The individual who is arrogant, who has to show who they are to the world, right? That individual is operating from a place of insecurity. Simple as that. You can call it what you want. You can call it girl boss. You can call it, you know, I am him or, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I'm a real, like, you can say whatever you want and put whatever title, but when you have to display to peacock to the world that you are this somebody, you have to project that image outward, it's more likely, if not always the case, that you're doing so as a protective mechanism, as an ego mechanism to safeguard the, the true belief system, which is that I am not valuable, I am not enough. And so you create a caricature for yourself. And so pride is nothing more than fear in disguise. That's going to be a valuable point throughout this entire message. Pride comes before the fall. That's not an original. That right there is scripture, which was taken from wherever else it was taken from, right? Pride comes before the fall. Now, why is it that pride comes before the fall? Simple. When you are prideful, you're not willing to take correction. You're not willing to receive correction. Nobody can tell you a damn thing when you're prideful, right? Simple as that. Nobody can tell you nothing when you are prideful. So when nobody can actually speak into your life, when nobody can shift your belief system, your current point of perspective, when nobody can bring insight into your life, you are basically sending a signal out into the universe to say, I don't want anything that's going to improve or shift or change my current circumstance. Because the universe wants to send people, you know, different situations, interactions, etc., in order to create insights for the transformation that you're actually seeking. It's often going to come from within you and always is pouring from within you, but you won't even listen to your inner voice because I know what I know. You're operating from that place of trauma. You're operating from that place of woundedness. And so you continue to perpetuate the very same behaviors, again, from a place of fear, which masquerades itself as pride, and that pride is going to lead to your fall. It will lead to your demise. It will lead to your destruction. When you do not allow new information in, you will be destroyed by the information that you currently hold. And life is nothing more than an exchange of information. Our belief systems are information. Communicating between one another is information exchange, right? Our lives are a byproduct of the information we let in and we project out. And so when you have information that is broken, flawed, warped information, you're going to end up in a place you don't want to be. And I've seen this phenomena play out in a lot of ways, but this is specific towards relationship dynamics, right? Why am I still single? Why is this person not showing up in this way, et cetera? If you are not willing to adjust the way in which you're moving through life, if you're not willing to look at how you're showing up, I promise you, you are going to have a very difficult time, whether you find the quote unquote perfect person or not. You could find somebody who is everything that you have ever desired and you will sabotage that relationship. Now, you may not have this person leave you or whatever. Maybe they they have such deep wounds within themselves that they find it difficult to leave. Maybe they have such a people pleaser persona or whatever else it may be, a rejection complex, et cetera, that they're going to stay with your crazy ass, right? But if you are not willing to look at your behaviors, the way in which you show up, like, you know, uh, my girl has said this oftentimes, she would try to talk to, you know, friends in the past who would ask, you know, how do I get a good man, boo, 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 right? And, you know, she's trying to explain to them, like, okay, you know, well, well like, what's going on, boom, 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 and she finally realizes, oh, this person is, you know, really aggressive, they're very defensive or whatever, and she tries to point that out, and then the person is all of a sudden, you know, fight. no, that's not it, no, nah, no, nah, you don't know, okay. 
Okay. Never mind then. Continue to suffer. And again, we're, we're, we're operating from places of dysfunction and woundedness because we have not let in new information. So we're guarding a persona that's actually keeping us in the very place that we do not want to be, that is creating and perpetuating the suffering that we claim that we want to get out of. We want to have a healthy, functional relationship. We want that soulmate relationship, but we don't want to do what's necessary. Like there's this saying, everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die, right? It's the exact same thing when it comes to this phenomena. Everybody wants the perfect relationship. Like everybody wants to be a husband. Everybody wants to be a wife, but nobody. Oh, everybody wants to get married. Excuse me. Everybody wants a wedding. Everybody wants to get married, but nobody wants to be a husband. Nobody wants to be a wife. Everybody wants to have a cute little baby, but nobody wants to be a parent. You want the outcome. You want the byproduct. You want the fruit, but you don't want to plant the tree. That does not work, and it will never work. And if you're not willing to make a change within yourself, you will continue to produce the very same fruit or the lack thereof. Your life will be fruitless if you continue to plant nothing new. You will grow weeds, and your life will be a byproduct of what you are not planting. So you will have a fruitless life. You will be unfulfilled in the areas where you are desiring fulfillment. We talk about manifestation and attraction, and sometimes we use it as a, a safeguard, almost as an excuse for real transformation, real internal transformation. Straight up. Oh, I want this. I want that. I want this. I want that. Okay. And then you get a list of all the things that you got to do. Ooh, uh, I don't know about that. I can't do that. I'm not willing to show up like that. Oh, but she's got to do this first, but he's got to do that first. Never mind. You're not ready. You're not ready. Maybe that's it. Maybe maybe you actually just don't want what you want. Maybe what you want is exactly where you are. Maybe that's what you want. You know? Sometimes I, I actually, I, like right now, I'm having this real life epiphany. Maybe, just maybe, what you want is to live the rest of your life the way that you are. Maybe you actually don't want things to change. You just want to be affirmed in the very same dysfunction that you are currently stewing in. Maybe that's what you desire. And if it is, then you're doing a perfect job and exactly what you're doing is going to lead you exactly there. But so long as you truly desire something different, you have to show up differently. I wanted a different result on this platform. I don't understand why things, you know, aren't growing the way they're supposed to be. I got, you know, my message is fire. My music is fire, man. I don't understand why. Okay, are you putting the music out? Well, no, but, you know, are you are you promoting it? Are you marketing? Well, no, nah, but they got to come to, because my music, and they got to, but this, okay, so it's your fault. Are you producing every day? Well, but you, are you clicking that record button every single day and putting something out every single day? And being consistent and showing up. Well, no, nah, but like, but this person, they didn't have to do that. And they got, okay, then you're not ready. I have to face that reality. And so I said, no, I want something different. So I got to show up different. Einstein, insanity is the, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing and expecting a different result. That is insane. Clinically. Not hypothetically. That is literally insane. I'm going to keep knocking my head on a wall and I will keep continually, perpetually believing that my head is not going to be bumping, my forehead is not going to be squashed in, but I'm going to keep hitting my head on the wall. Something different is going to happen this time, this time, this time. That's foolishness, y'all. That's foolishness. We need to shift that level of consciousness. We need to open ourselves up. And when we do not, we will not. Pride will come before your own destruction, and you will blame everybody and everything until you run out of places and people to blame. It's simple as that. You will continue to point fingers until there's no more fingers that you can point, because you all pointed out. Nobody's around you now. Nobody wants to be around you now. And you will blame them. Blame them. Blame them. Blame them. Until, until when? Until when? Because no matter how much you blame, you still don't have what you want. And that's what I'm here about. I love you enough to tell you the truth. I love you enough to get you pissed off at me. I don't need you to buy my course and like me. If you want to buy what I got, go ahead, buy that. Go ahead, buy the book and the link. Go ahead, buy that if that's what you want. But all I got for you, all I'm selling you is the truth. And the truth is your pride is in the way of everything that you want. Your pride is in the way of that relationship. You're not willing to humble yourself. If you're not willing to humble yourself to take in new information from those who have it, 
You can't even listen to somebody who is in a healthy relationship. That, that. Nah, you want what you want. You want what you want. Simple as that. I used to be afraid of the dark. A place unknown like a heart in their heart. I, I used to see my life in the bar. Now the kids unchained, every shackle is lost. Two steps in the moonlight. Two steps in the daytime. You just know when it feel right. Got a feeling the time's not. I see you through those shades that I just threw on. Through my lenses, you just can't do no wrong. I fell in love with myself again. I fell in love with myself. I fell in love with the sunshine. I can see the light again. I can see the light. 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 I can see